Hey, what's good? I'm professional trainer, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm gonna to teach you three sick combo moves that will freeze any defender. All right, now combo moves are incredibly effective if you know how to combo the right ones together. So today, what I wanna do is make sure we're giving you some phenomenal combos that you can blow by and freeze any defender. But before we jump into it, click the top link description down below and get free access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is a quick five minute scoring workout that's gonna turbocharge your scoring average because it's really game specific actions. Click the top link description down below, 100% free instant access. Now the very first one, the very first combo that I absolutely love is the in out cut combo. So basically it's a simple in and out dribble to start and then a cut dribble where I'm using the, my hand on the top, rotating it fast to the bottom and spinning the ball into the ground. Now the reason why I love a cut dribble is it simulates a bounce pass, right? If you're playing defense on me and I hit this in and out, I'm gonna get you shifting this direction and as soon as I throw this cut, you're gonna move hard to try to jump it, right? And so a lot of times this move works great in transition. So if I'm coming down the court and let's say maybe I got like a guy trailing towards the middle, if I hit an in out cut, that looks like I'm dropping the ball off, my defender's gonna start to slide and then I can read it from there. So what's great about this combo is a lot of times you can freeze your defender and then you can read what they give you, right? After this cut, I wanna see what I got. If they jump the line, I might be able to just take it into the bucket for an easy layup, right? If I hit this cut and they froze in their tracks further back, I can load into my jumper, right? If let's say I do have that trailer and I cut and they don't cut it off, I can actually throw that pocket pass right afterwards. So I've got a ton of different options with this. And that's one reason why I absolutely love this combo because it's all about reading it. Once we hit it, we're gonna see what we got and then give them, or then give them what they give us. All right, the next combo I absolutely love is the glide behind the back to the pop stop. So it looks like this. It all starts with a lateral behind the back. Now, a lot of times when we think behind the back, we're thinking about going forward downhill. For this one, we're looking to move sideways along the three point line. So as I hit this behind the back, I'm going laterally sideways and I'm using a kick step exchange with my feet. So you'll notice that my right foot's gonna kick my left and my left's gonna replace out, just like that. So as we hit this behind the back, we're starting with a lateral kick step. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pocket the ball up here with a little hezzy, and I'm gonna slam the ball with the same side foot. So this is the pop stop. So we go lateral behind the back, and then a pop stop. Generally speaking, when I do this, the defender's moving sideways slowly with me. As soon as I throw this downhill, they're gonna turn to run with me because they think I'm going to the basket. But from here, all we're doing is just using a pop separation, getting into a shot or driving the opposite way. So this combo is phenomenal because we're getting defenders sideways and then throwing them downhill super fast. So as they come up, we're going glide, pop, they're running that way and then I'm taking what they give us, right? It's a phenomenal combination because we're getting them moving two different directions. All right, so the next combo we got is a drop between the legs to a snatch back. So it all starts with a drop between the legs going downhill. So as I'm coming towards my defender, I'm going to drop between the legs and I'm gonna slam the ball hard. Right, because if I slam the ball hard and I go here, it looks like I'm driving towards the basket. So from here, I'm immediately gonna grab the ball coming through my legs and whip it behind the back for my separation. That will absolutely freeze your defender because every single time I hit this drop, they're gonna turn to run with me, go in this direction, and then I'm gonna yank it back the opposite way. So the key here, you gotta be ready to shoot the jumper out of this move. Because as I come here and I hit this drop, snatch back behind the back, they're gonna be running that way. I gotta load up, get ready to fire. Quick tip, anytime you're shooting out of separation, keep your nose over your knees. If I hit this move and it looks good and I stand straight up, I'm probably gonna miss short because my woman is pulling me away from the hoop. So as I hit the snatch back, boom, load, nose over knees, keep my heels off the ground so I'm nice and springy, finish that play off. All right, and don't forget, if you want to turbocharge your scoring average, make sure you click the top link in the description down below and get instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. It's a five minute workout that's gonna turbocharge your scoring, I guarantee it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, click that subscribe button, head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. We run pretty much everything off request, so leave it down below and hopefully I get to it. And again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.